Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to grease a drive shaft on Toyota Sequoia 2012. Same steps apply to all Toyota, Lexus, car, trucks, SUVs. No different. It's they're all the same in terms of when it comes to greasing the drive shaft. So make sure, uh, in my case, it's Toyota Sequoia. You're gonna need to have one wheel lifted off the ground. Have your car uh, lever shifted to neutral because you would have to rotate the drive shaft to get to the grease fairing. So I'm going to show you how, what I mean by that when I get underneath. If you're working on Sequoia, make sure uh, you have the right supports. You know, I have them tripled. Jack stands, blocks, jack. Since it's a platinum, it has, I have a stand underneath there. So in case air suspension gives up, it will not crash me underneath there. So, uh, you're going to need a grease gun. What works best for me is grease gun with a rubber hose. I had a metal stick on it. It did not work very hard to get to it with a metal. So, this point here, it twists. So, you get on a grease fairings, you twist it, lock it, and start pumping. Uh, type of grease, I'm not sure if you guys can see or not. This is a... Uh, this is... The grease is black. And it's at the lithium complex, something like that. Just read your owner's manual. And not all greases, or not, not all grease are compatible with each other. So make sure you use the right type of grease. Uh, how to load the gun? This end unscrews. You put a cartridge in, or cartridge has a two ends. One is a cap, uh, plastic cap, and the other end on the cartridge is the metal. You take both of them ends off. Pull this out completely. And put the cartridge with the grease inside and you know screw this pumping mechanism on and that's pretty much it to it that's how you load uh, very simple straightforward uh, so I'm gonna get underneath and I'm gonna show you how to grease your drive shafts uh, I think this is it so this is the first grease fitting and this is on the drive shaft front drive shaft there is the grease fitting uh, you would have to rotate the drive shaft. Let me show you to get For the front one it doesn't have to be neutral Because if it's not in four-wheel drive set in two wheel so this is the grease fitting make sure you wipe it clean before you start greasing it. I'm not gonna show you in a video uh, I just don't have a way to hold the camera to get this to you guys That's the first one on the front the second grease fittings front drive shaft right there zooming in same thing clean it you just have to rotate the drive shaft so you can uh, this this one is one of the hardest one to get to it actually to, to grease it up because the way it, there, there's not much space this cross member beam there and it just everything is just super tight so take your time don't rush it uh, and again grease fittings should be clean of any dirt grease otherwise you're gonna pump all that dirt all that grease inside and you you know what I mean and your U joints are not gonna last long just want to give you guys a little tip uh, for this grease fittings front drive shaft next to the transfer case it's easier to do it from the top what I mean from the top is get your hose all the way from that I tried from this direction it doesn't work it was easier for me maybe work for you maybe there's different hoses different grease guns that will work better but I'll leave it from the top you know twist rotate the shaft so the grease fittings on top, attach it, twist it, twist the fitting on the grease gun with a grease hose, and that was the that worked for me. Because the front drive shaft is always is the hardest one to to grease it, to grease the U joints. I don't know why, there's not enough space. So uh, that's a little tip. Enjoy. Now this is the rear drive shaft. This is another grease fitting. This is the reason why I said you need to lift the one wheel off, put it in neutral so you can rotate the drive shaft. Otherwise, you know what I mean? If it's either up or down the grease fairings, you know, you're not going to be able to grease it. You're not going to be able to turn it if it's in neutral, but your tire is not lifted off the ground. So one tire would have to be off the ground. So this is the front grease fairings for the rear drive shaft. It's next to the transfer case. And I'm going to show you the, next, the, la the last grease fitting. Here's the last grease fitting on the rear drive shaft the rear one 
And again, make sure the grease fairing is clean, wipe it clean with a rug. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to, I'll start with this one, I'll show you how to grease this fitting. And the same steps apply to all of them. So, uh, and that's the drive shaft, what there is suggesting. Okay, so I attached the grease gun, the hose. You attach it, you twist it, make sure it's secure and locked. And now I'm going to be pumping the grease inside there. And uh, hopefully you guys can see it. And if not, I apologize, I don't have a better equipment. Water should be coming out. I'm not sure if you can see. It should be coming out from where it connects the U-joint to the drive shaft. And what you want to do is pump it until a lot of stuff is coming out. Why you want to keep pumping until it comes out a lot of stuff? You want to flush it out. Any moisture, any old grease. And that's how you do it. So this one is done. Make sure you wear your PPE. All that grease will have to be wiped out. Otherwise, I'm not sure if you can see, it's going to be all over your body on exhaust and it's going to stink. And because it's going to be trying to burn off. So, you can't see it um, because I don't have better equipment. So, uh, how am I doing it? Maybe, maybe not, not sure. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you would like to support this channel, feel free. There is a link to support my channel uh, so I can get better equipment, you know what I mean? So, a better quality video, get more videos, and enjoy. So, this is how it's done. So, you go around every single Grease fitting, pump it until grease comes out, wipe it all the grease. You have to rotate the drive shaft, of course, to wipe the head pretty clean. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And again, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.